Hello, nature, my old friend. I have come to talk to you again. Because our cities are crowded and mucky, and I need to escape and feel free. In my dreams, I think of you. And as my wishes have come true, I surrender to the sound of silence. A sound that is now so rare, that to hear it, I struggle and despair. Hello, nature, my old friend. I have come to talk to you again. And in this clean air, now I can see how life is meant to be. Relax and fully free. Hello Vicky, what a handsome horse. Welcome to Jujaur Bobji. Thank you. How was the drive to Jujaur? Extremely nice. I am pleasantly surprised how good the roads have become. Yeah. And you know that mountain patch which used to be really bad and broken. Now the road is so smooth. I enjoyed driving through all the curves and twists. Really lovely drive. And seeing Vicky with his handsome horses is always such a nice delight. What's the name of this horse? He's called Ashwaraj. So Vicky, I believe these Marwaris are very good for uh, endurance event and cross-country rides. How much uh, distance can they cover in a day? Uh, they are actually competing with the best of the horses in the world at 100-120 kilometers endurance. Some uh, electric vehicles don't have that much range, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, very true, very true. When you ride a Marwari and when you ride other breed of horses, you know, the ride is very comfortable on the Marwari. You know, I've seen that and when the Marwari, you know, goes, it trots so, and you can see that everything is moving like it's a, on air suspension. Suspension, very true. Very smooth. We can say that the oldest form of air suspension known to man is the Marwari. Marwari. It seems like it's going on water. It's going on water. Marwari is just, uh, you know, uh, born and bred for uh, the desert terrain or can it go anywhere? It can go anywhere. It's original SUV 4x4. You can take him anywhere you want to. Superb. Go anywhere ability the Marwari has, making it the original SUV. I love that. So, Vicky, should we walk him to the stables? Yes. And I guess you need some time to get prepared, for, prepared the for the evening. Yes, yes. Patthar Kabab evening. So Vicky, this uh, rustic and delicious looking setup is for the Pathar Kebab. Pathar to Kebab today. Uh, we've done two different marinations. One is based with uh, on yogurt and dry masalas, and one is we using kachri as the tenderizer. What all do we have here? Fresh masalas. Fresh masalas, soaked uh, red chilli, little bit of uh, green chilli. No mixy grindy. No, this I think it, it doesn't take much time. No, but then I like it. That pathar pe hi grinding over. Grinding over. Flavor is also a little different when we do it in a mixer. It's a completely different kind of texture that the masala gets. And when you do it on this, it's the, more the old coarse. way. It is more coarse, and you know the more flavors are. More intact there. Everything we add in it, hmm. the texture changes, consistency changes. changes. And at the same time, the fragrance is changing. Changing. When I am seeing this cooking hmm. and the senses smelling yeah. the food and hearing it sizzling, sizzling. It's not cooking on an iron pan, it's not cooking on a non stick pan, but on a natural, natural stone. stone. Meat infused with stony and smoky <laughs> flavor. Smoky flavors. Brilliant. Food is on cooked on stones. We are eating on a stone table. Look, Bob. It's amazing. You can see so many stars. It's the luxury of being in this uh, rural setup, you know. No pollution, no light pollution. It's amazing.
What an amazing sky. Good morning, Vicky. Yeah, bro. Good morning uh, to India too. Kaisa? How was the sunrise? It felt like being in paradise. <laughs> Please. So, Vicky, what's that there? Looks very interesting. This is traditional Rajasthani bajre ka khich. Okay. Here in Rajasthan, this is a staple diet in winter. You can have it with milk. You can have it with jaggery and ghee. Or if you want it spicy, then here in Rajasthan, we make these traditional green and red chutney so you can either have it with chutney have it with jaggery or with milk so however you like it okay so that's so, the traditional breakfast. breakfast will we be so starting with that starting with that and we have a wild boar on a table <laughs> really nice <laughs> and you have a leopard on your table leopard on my table kya baat hai so the prey is here and the hunter is there <laughs> you have your own lake here you have a mini forest and Earlier there were some ducks flying around. flying around. It would be right to call this breakfast with bird and of course with Vicky. The drive on the jungle trails was most enjoyable and we were also fortunate to spot a pair of rare and difficult to sight honey badgers which are known for their strength and ferocity. After the beautiful but slightly challenging safari, Nagendra convinced me that the next day I should give up my wheels and go with him on an even more awe-inspiring ride, but this time in a train. We boarded the local meter gauge train from Kamlighat, which is the highest railway station in the Aravali Mountains. The train goes up the scenic Kamlighat Pass and makes its way through lush green valleys and hills that are home to rare flora and fauna. 
Babji, I tell you, this pain has not changed even a bit. I remember as a child going to school and we would take this train, this, the smell of the train, the sound. I think only thing that has changed is the engine. You know, the steam engine has been replaced by the diesel engine and I remember we used to go, when the train would go, go, go through the tunnel, we would put our head out and you would get charcoal on your face and... Uh, <laughs> Built over a century ago, the railway line has about 172 bridges and is an engineering marvel. Its two tunnels dating back to 1934 were entirely dug and carved with chisels and hammers and pickaxes and shovels, making this railway line an extraordinary example of human skill, willpower and hard work. All this made it a truly memorable and enchanting train trip and the perfect way to end my journey to a place that echoes the sound of silence.